today we are going to show you six features on this Nakamura control that you might not know, so stick around. So Steve, can you tell us a little bit about this control? Yeah, so uh, this is the Nakamura Smart X control. It's um, Windows, PC, Fanuc 31i V5 embedded, um, packed full of features. So, what feature are we going to go through first? Um, first of all, there's a, a nice, cool feature on the right hand side here um, utility tools, where we have just a simple scientific calculator, which is very useful. Um, there's the engineer's calculator for calculating your surface finish, your uh, cutting velocities, etc. Um, another feature is the paint feature where you can take screenshots and leave notes to, um, to other operators. I can see people having a bit of fun with that one. Yes, yes, we've <laughs> seen some funny ones in the past. Um, and one touch MDI, um, again, so where you can save a regular MDI inputs so they can be input with one click of a button. So I'm sure that'll help and really save time in programming if you can just one click in. Absolutely, yeah. So what's the next feature we're going to go for? Um, the next feature is um, program simulation, full machine simulation. Now usually you only see this really on CAD CAM. Yeah, so it's, it's more, um, I'd say one step better than program verification offline because this actually verifies your tool offsets as well. So, so does this actually see, will this simulation stop if it thinks the machine's going to crash? Yes, there's a 3D check function on there, so as long as this button's turned on, if the machine shows a collision, it will, it will stop, yeah. So. And now, obviously, we can see actually going through the code as it's running the simulation, so what happens if I see something on the simulation I don't really like? Is, it, is this something on this control that can help me with programming? Yeah, that's right, yeah. So um, you could stop the simulation at any point and it will stay at that, that place in the program. So then you can jump into edit and edit which particular bit you didn't quite like. Um, other features um, for programming, um, all the manuals are on the control. So is that, sorry, just, just to jump in. So these manuals, that's not just for programming, that's manuals for the machine. If anything goes wrong, you can find everything on here, which is another one of his features. That's right, yeah, there's um, so error codes or just, just general programming features. Um, you, it's PDF manual, so you've got the search function. Search for keywords and it'll soon point you in the right direction. So the next feature I'd really like to talk about is the smart support. So what is it? Yeah, smart support's a, a programming aid. Um, it's basically macros that Nakamura have created and they've now made the macros easier to understand with graphical images. So you simply, it's a nice deep hole drilling one there, um, cross hole chamfering there, simply fill in the variables and then it will be input straight into the program. Because let's be honest, how many times have you seen people just use a really big chamfer tool, plunge in and then you end up with two big chamfers and two little chamfers? Yeah, this cycle gives a neater, neater chamfer. Now, obviously we've been through programming and the help and support that the control gives you, but what happens if I've programmed a part and now I'm going to leave it to an operator to run and I don't really want him messing around with it? So does this control have something in sort of the safety aspect of that? Yeah, we have um, operation level management on the control, um, which the say, team leader, let's say, would be given the master um, admin login and then he can set up um, the rest of his team and give them uh, operation level. Got to love the picture. But even looking at that, I didn't even make it to the highest level. I only made it to four. So just as a really, really quick overview, what would my level give compared to somebody who had like one star? Yeah, so uh, an, an operational level four is basically a, an, an operator set of programmer. If you had a basic operator on there and you didn't want him touching certain areas of the control, you'd set him off to a level one, which only allows program start, um, program output, and um, basic wear offset. So this really gives safety, and also it makes, makes me feel comfortable to walk away and know my program's not gonna be changed. So, last thing, as last point, maintenance. We know people hate it, but it's got to be done. So. How does this control help me keep this machine running at 100% all the time? Yeah, we have the operation, uh, so regular maintenance screen, 
um, which prompts um, every time regular maintenance needs, needs to um, be, be addressed. So cleaning the chuck, greasy chuck, and just check it off to say you've done it. And this works in conjunction with operation level management so you can see who's actually completing these tasks. So you can see if somebody hasn't done a very good job, you can tell who's done it. Yeah, but right. I think if the camera can pick it up, especially on this, on this Nakamura, once a day, you have to watch MTD. So thanks, thank you very much, Stephen. That was a great insight into this control. And if you think there is anything we missed, then drop it in a comment down below.